I've just finished filming the 2012 Royal Institution Christmas Lectures and all I have to do now is tell you about my favourite element. It's a rather strange choice and I've brought a sample of this in a party balloon along to the Royal Hallamshire Hospital, the University of Sheffield MRI unit. So this may well go down like the proverbial lead balloon at a party, but nonetheless this is one of the most remarkable elements in the entire periodic table and I'm going to show you why I've brought this all the way up to Sheffield in a moment. So my favourite element is xenon, and it gets its name from the Greek word for stranger, and it really does have some rather strange properties. Now, Helen is just attaching this clip to monitor my blood oxygenation levels, because I'm actually going to breathe in some xenon and show you what it does to the human body. So Jim is just handing me a sample of xenon here. Deep breath in, so breathe out. And breathe from the bike. So breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out when you feel it. Yeah. <laughs> That's very strange. Indeed, I mean, so, so you can hear my voice has changed, it's gone quite deep. This is because of the, it's a very dense gas and the speed of sound is much slower in it. Um, but it's also affected my brain. Um, it feels like I'm a little bit sort of, I don't know, it feels very strange. So it has anaesthetic properties. It's beginning to wear off a little bit now, um, but it's sort of, sort of partially slowing down some of my brain functions, um, which feels very, very weird, I must say. Um, but the reason we're here in the hospital is because this remarkable element allows us to take an image of my working, living lungs. So I've got two samples of xenon here, but this one has been hyperpolarized which means it's been specially prepared so we get a really large signal from it when I'm in the MRI scanner that you see behind me. So I'm going to go and lie down there and Jim is going to administer this hyperpolarized xenon to me and that should allow us to see the insides of my lungs. Um, so, so the, the white that we're seeing is the xenon in his lungs. Um, so where we see signal, um, that's where the lung is ventilated. Uh, they look good, they're, they're well ventilated. Um, the xenon is filling all of his air spaces. Um, and this is where his heart is, but of course we don't see it because we're looking at the xenon. Um, and these are the bronchi, and then going towards the back of the body. So that's the last slice we acquired nearest the back. So these are images of my lungs then, yeah? Yeah, that's um, their slices through your lungs, yeah. So this is the normal MRI scan which shows the hydrogens in fat and in water, is that right? Yeah, so that's protons in water molecules inside your body, in the tissue. And of course we've got a big black space here, and that's because there's no water exactly. or fat inside my lungs. Exactly. Which is probably the, a good thing. Not, not, not a great deal of uh, signal from your lungs with conventional... And this is the xenon then. So of yeah. course it's nowhere but in my lungs, yeah? So, yeah, so I mean, these look really quite beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the fact that we've got gas in the lungs there, it gives us a it's very, very sensitive probe. Uh -huh. It gives us exquisite images of, of regional lung function that you can't get with 
other existing lung imaging technologies. And you're detecting, I mean, these images here are the images of the xenon in my lungs, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. In individual xenon atoms. So you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're essentially imaging the gas, yeah? And the reason we can pick up the signal from the gas is because it's hyperpolarised. But you're one of the first groups to be using xenon yeah. for this purpose? Yeah, yeah, in the UK, yeah. yeah. And do you think it's going to catch on with all... I'd hope so, yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to think so, yeah. And these images that you've taken of my lungs are going to be used for research as well then? So yes, indeed, yeah. They'll be in yeah. the database of yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, well, you, large you, lungs or whatever. You're one of the crowd in that respect, yeah. Excellent, good. Yeah. Well, it's nice to know that I've contributed to the research then. No, good stuff. Yeah. So I hope you see now why I've picked xenon as my favourite element. It really is quite incredible. But you can see some other remarkable properties of this element and many others in the 2012 Royal Institution Christmas Lectures. And all that's left for me to do now is to take my balloon to the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs>